one half of Top Flight, Darius Martin. Uh, this has just been a, a crazy time for the Martin family right yeah, now, definitely. especially here on the heels of Full Gear Weekend in Minneapolis. Uh, what has this whirlwind experience been like for you guys? Uh, Dante said it in the media scrum. It's been like surreal to feel all of this support in our hometown. Uh, we kind of grew up wrestling in First Avenue, which is actually right across the street from the Target Center, which just hosted Full Gear and Rampage, as you know. It seems like the stars were almost aligned for this spotlight to come on to you guys. Obviously, right now you're dealing with injury. First, I'll, I'll ask by that, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, just moving around, taking it day by day, trying to get the clearance again, working my way up and building the strength again. How frustrating is it when... You feel like you're getting on a little bit of a roll. People are taking notice that you guys are different than a lot of tag teams. And then an injury like that hampers, hampers some of that project, that progress. That's got to be frustrating in some way. Yeah, no, it's definitely frustrating. Uh, obviously, you never want injuries. But uh, honestly, I'm thankful it came at a time when I'm fortunate enough to have this deal with AEW. AEW has been great to me during it. Uh, and I just really feel all the love and support from them. It's been I've been fortunate enough to have that behind me, at least. Yeah, how has AEW helped you work through this recovery period? Because it is a lengthy injury, one that you're going to have to really have to work through to get back into that ring. Right. Uh, I mean, I'm still on the road. They've still been paying me. I'm still lucky enough to have that job and that financial security because of AEW. It's just a great place, and Tony Khan is an amazing boss who really like values his employees and treats us as human beings. I'm sure you heard it say a lot, but Tony's just the best. He gave your brother Dante a big hug yeah. after after what happened uh, at Full Gear. He had his big moment with Team Taz as we record this in the aftermath of that. What has it been like seeing your brother make his way up the ranks in AEW re recently? All these teams are trying to poach him away from your tag team here. Yeah, no, honestly, it's... That's been the highlight of this whole point. Like, obviously, like mentally, injuries kind of take a toll. But the best part has been seeing Dante just living up to the potential that I know he's had because Dante has been mind blowing since day one, and I've been lucky enough to see him grow into this. But it's really cool to see the rest of the world get to see it. I remember a tweet of yours from a few weeks back as we taped this, where you said something along the lines of you've known that your brother could be the greatest high flyer in the world. This is something that you've always been positive and now the world is going to experience that. How does that feel as his own blood to see the world have their eyes opened up to how special he is? It's, it's the best. Like it always just puts a smile on my face. Honestly, every week when I watch Dante wrestle, he grows more and more to become like my favorite wrestler. I love watching Dante perform more than I love watching a lot of bigger names quote unquote perform because Dante innovates and he's creative and he really pushes the boundaries of high flying. Why do you think audiences take to that so much? Like they come from an era here on Ad Free Shows, we talk about nostalgia all the time. Yeah. They come from an era of the Hardy Boys and, and growing up with these, even Generation Me, the Young Bucks prior to them becoming that. Why do you think they identify with you guys? Um, I just think we're relatable in the sense that we're young. I just think they see the the genuineness. We we want to be here. We want to learn. We're the same as them, really. We're just two fans that happen to stumble across this job and get lucky. But we're in the right place at the right time. And I don't know. We're just going to keep doing and showing what we can do. I want to talk about that real quick. You talk about right place, right time. If I'm not mistaken, because Tony Khan said this, you guys basically sent a highlight reel to the Young Bucks. Is, is that correct? Is that how that worked out? Right, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I had just lost my job, um, and I was looking for a new job, but uh, I needed money, and I was just – I sent a message to Matt, and I was like, hey, man, I know it's a long shot, but uh, we really love what AEW is doing, and we really want to – be here and we want to show what we can do and we want to push the boundaries the innovation AEW is on another level right now and we really want to be a part of the groundwork of this company so they take a shot on you what kind of message does that send out to other people who also maybe want to shoot their shot whether it's in wrestling or any other arena in life do you have any advice on that behalf yeah i'd say just go for it i mean there's no telling what could happen luckily i was in the right place at the right time and I shot my shot and it worked out for me probably better than it's worked <laughs> out for a lot of people but 
Well, I'd certainly agree with that. So now you guys find yourself in the midst of a very busy tag team scene in AEW. How do you guys, I know it's been hard for you since you've been hurt, but how do you guys find a way to stand out in such a crowded scene? Um, I just think me and Dante really pride ourselves on the innovation, the creativity. I know that me and Dante have the confidence that we can look at our locker room and we know there's not a team to the left of us or to the right of us that thinks like we think, that moves like we move, that plays the game like we do. So I think Dante and I, in a sense, are taking it to the next level in terms of innovation. Who's the one team that you haven't had a chance to face off with yet that you're really looking forward to? Um, in our locker room, I'd probably say FTR. Yeah. So FTR, it's like a running gag on Twitter with me. Every single FTR match I watch, I'm just blown away by their innovation. What is it for you guys that FTR just checks all those boxes with? Um, honestly, in my mind, I think FTR is the best team doing it today because they have an aura about them that when they pull up, the tides turn. So FTR knows they haven't been in a ring with a team like Top Flight, just like we haven't been in a ring with a team like them. I just want to make magic happen with those guys talking about making magic here the martins are just crushing it right now i'm wishing you all the best in your recovery it seems like you're in good spirits yeah. tony khan very supportive of you the last thing i want to ask you uh, dante was saying in his post show scrum the other day that while he's achieving all this single success his end goal is to become tag team champions with you what would that mean to you to be able to check that off the bucket list with him it's the ultimate goal right now uh, honestly, I see myself being with AEW as so long as they have me, as long as I can. I love AEW, and in my mind, holding those belts means that we're at the top of the world because AEW is at the top when it comes to the tag team scene. I really appreciate your time, man. I'm wishing you all the best. All of our ad-free show subscribers certainly are as well. And I'm uh, excited to see you back out there in an AEW ring. Really appreciate it, man. Appreciate you.